r slash relationships. Vastad4267 says. My F26 husband, M29, said my stomach was a turn off. My husband has been struggling with his own body image for a while. He used to be overweight as a teen, but after he joined the army at 18, he became fit, and has been relatively fit with some normal fluctuations over the years. I know that currently he is upset with his flab. I've also had body image issues over the years. M511, and weigh around 190, and fluctuate around this weight, give or take 15 pounds. These past couple months I've been stressed with work and life, and have put on a little weight in my stomach, but it's not huge or super noticeable to me at least. But last night my husband said, that he loved me, and didn't want me to take it the wrong way, but my... Stomach was a turn off to him, and he has been noticing it. He would like me to go to the gym more often with him. He begged me not to take it the wrong way, because has commented on my weight, and asked me to go to the gym with him before, and I got upset with him, and didn't want him to touch me afterwards. Last night was particularly hurtful to me however, because I know my stomach isn't flat like it used to be. I'm already insecure about it. I need advice. Should I take his comment as a well intended input? Or should I be upset that he pointed out something I'm already insecure about? Too long, didn't read, husband said my stomach was a turn off, and I need help processing an. Keem773 says. Ouch, it definitely sucks to be on the receiving end of these convos, but I feel it's best to be honest, if it's causing a physical reaction. Hard to stay erect or severe lack of interest in sex due to being turned off, as long as you do it at the right time, you'd be shocked to know how many times I've seen this same issue with others during marriage counseling. He was out of line for specifically mentioning your stomach though, if he noticed that you've been stress eating then he could have mentioned the eating habits as he saw them, or tried to motivate you to work out with him, if you acknowledged that you wanted to lose a few lbs. Tamasa Russ Rex says. Really that is so cruel and insensitive. He is clearly projecting his issues onto you. I used to weigh 100 pounds more than I do now, and it took me a year and a half to lose the weight. And now I'm with a big dude. Do I care? No, I just want him to be healthy and happy. The belly thing in particular is awful and bizarre. Maybe ask how he'd feel if you said the same thing to him. Just don't buy into this. It's garbage. Isa Reddit says. Take it as well intended I put, and go to the gym with him, you know you're overweight. MX Base says. All the comments are feminists, and made for winning votes, the man is trying, is working to look good and to be healthy, and the woman trying to find excuses for having bad food habits and not exercising, aren't all saying communication is a problem in relationships. Here the man communicated, and he is a bad person. Consult Jim Moriarty says. Oh no, your perfectly normal tum makes his pee pee sad, what a turd. Magicianok6393 says. Wow, he's body shaming you, and pecking away at your self confidence. Emotional abuse, but hey, he loves you. Think how he'll react, if you get pregnant? Or injured? Or when you age. Huge red flag. EPR3176 says. And you know, when you have the talk with him about this, he need to really, even if it hurts him explain to him how hurtful you felt, and how damaging this was to you to have your own husband making these comments about your stomach, and about how you were so messed up you had to come unreded to get people's advice, because you didn't know what to do like you really need to explain this to him. Because I don't think he thinks it's that big of a deal. He thinks because he told you don't take this the wrong way, that everything would be fine. I bet you, he was surprised, when you didn't want him to touch you afterwards. The other thing you know you might wanna, if you want to make me feel bad next time you guys are together. There's a point of advice just in case you still feel self-conscious now around him. When you guys get together you know to be around physically just keep your shirt on because I'm sure you're gonna feel a little self-conscious with him now, because he made a comment about your stomach, because who won, 
like who wouldn't want to be without a shirt on in front of someone who just said that their stomach turns them off anything he should be telling you how you love you little buddha belly lol. Papa underscore hugger says. HM I'll be very unpopular here, but I think sometimes we need to hear these things. See if you can control your eating, and do exercise you like, doesn't have to be the gym. Sometimes we need a bit of tough love, and if he won't say it who will? R slash relationships. Cute underscore progress underscore 915 says. Should I 27 female, leave my 34 male, boyfriend over a broken sink? I'm sorry if this is a lot I just have a lot going on in my head, and I'm trying to make sense of it all, and what I should do. But anyway, I 27 female, and my 34 male, boyfriend have been together for almost 4 years. We met at work, and still work together, it was a pretty whirlwind, to begin with we moved in together after only 3 months of dating. He was my first everything, my first kiss, my first boyfriend, all of it. Initially, he was great, we would hang out, and talk all the time, and he would actually pay attention to me when I talked, and would put me first priority. And even now he's normally very nice to me, he's like my best friend, and I know he would never cheat on me. But for the last 2 years, I feel like we've become no better than roommates, we barely have 6, and I'll admit, that that is mostly on my part as I normally feel too stressed to want to do anything, but also I feel, as though I'm not attracted to him as much as I once was. I still love him, but I don't think I'm, in love with him anymore. Things started to go downhill, after about a year. He drinks, every day, often way too much. I once tried to bring up my concern and he didn't talk to me for over 4 days, just full on ignored me any time I tried to talk to him. He has done this a couple of times, any time I try to bring up a serious concern. He never pays attention fully to me, when I talk I always have to nag him for any attention, but his phone I always more important. I recently went through a bout of severe seasonal depression. And I expressed this with him, and I, more than once, would practically beg him to stay with me, all I wanted, was for him to just be with me. But not once did he stay, he would still choose to go out to boys night or to play video games over me. We bought a house together about 2 years ago, and I've hated it ever, since we put in an offer. It's been nothing but a money sink. We had to replace the furnace, before we were even fully moved in, and there have just been things breaking every few months. At this point, I've spent far more money than it would have been to just rent. I have also developed severe anxiety from this, I am. Constantly checking to make sure no pipes have burst, and that nothing is broken. Just him turning on the garden hose makes me anxious. And I've tried explaining to him about this, I've even told him. That buying this house is the biggest regret of my life, and that I want to go back to renting. I've said this a couple of times, and his answer is always, that he's not selling the house, and even once answered, that he doesn't care about my anxiety. He was drunk, when he said this, while I've on and off been thinking about breaking up with him, I've been seriously considering it for the last few months. This last break in our kitchen sink I think, is the last straw for me. I was standing there sobbing in front of him about how I just couldn't take it anymore, and he didn't comfort me at all. Not a hug. Nothing, just telling me to stop worrying about it. It was only the drain so, as long as we don't use the sink there's no water, and that he would fix it, he's not very handy, and I know logically it'll be fine, but I'm done with always feeling like this, I think we've reached the point, where we just want two different things and just aren't good together anymore. Before we started dating I was so happy, and mentally healthy, in my opinion. I remember telling my mom I was the happiest I'd ever been, and I was more or less worry free, I was journaling, and had multiple creative outlets, that I enjoyed doing. I was energetic and active, physically fit. That all slowly went away, after I started dating him, and has all but disappeared, after buying the house, and now I feel like a ghost of my former self. I've also been wanting to move back near my family anyway, I live over 3 hours away from anyone, 
and I feel so alone here. I've also started to hate my job. I'm a baker, so very early hours, and I essentially run the department, but my manager takes all the credit. Not to mention it's really hard on my body and I feel I don't get paid enough to be worth it. And I think for my mental health it would be best to break up. I'm ready to let him just keep the house, and his name is on the deed already, but the mortgage is under my name alone. I guess I'm just looking for guidance, or advice, on how to move forward. Too long, didn't read, should I leave my boyfriend for my mental health? Amaranthesk says. If you leave him, it won't be because of the broken sink, it will be, because you hate your entire life right now, and he's making it worse instead of better, and that is a very good reason to leave. That said, you almost certainly can't just hand your mortgage over to him, and walk away from the house. If he could qualify for a mortgage, he would presumably have been on the mortgage. It's quite likely that you are on the hook for the mortgage no matter what, unless you are willing to sell the place, which having him on the deed is really going to complicate. Go talk to a real estate lawyer before you make a single other decision and find out what your options are to get out from under the mortgage. Tonid69 says. You should post an legal sub. Or better yet, get a lawyer. Most initial visits are free. Victory underscore, says. Girl if he's killing you inside you need to break up with that leech. The fact that he can't even comfort when you cry, or ignores you when you express concerns is disgusting. It seems they're also the one doing all the communication which is just an even heavier burden on you. For her mental health leave him, move back with her parents if you need, and find a way to split the mortgage. Your Wortham says. Why are you both on the deed, but the mortgage is only on you? Swampy underscore pillow says. Your partner should make your life better, not worse. You won't be breaking up with them, just because of the sink, but because of everything else you listed. Opening underscore track underscore 1227 says. Sounds like you know what to do, Opus. It would be good to be near your family, in a different job, that you don't hate, and working a job, that is not as hard on your body. You can talk to him, talk to the mortgage company, and work on a way for it to be transferred to his name. Queef Shark says. Speak to an attorney about how to get him off the dead, what you have to do to extricate yourself and then, once you have all your ducks in a row, you dump him. You are being weighed down by this man. You deserve so, so much better. Dew Compot 4723 says. Just fix the home, put it on rent, and move to a rental. I just had to do this, because my partner was similar to yours, not helping around. Bedizzle Jarbage says. I dunno, maybe post about it once instead of numerous times? This isn't about a sink. And if you really need advice on this, you should be seeing a therapist, and working on your self-worth. Forville Estate 188 says. I don't ever try to tell someone how to live their lives, or how to make their decisions, but just do what you have to do to get back to your old self, when you were at your best before him. Whether that means leaving him or not, focus on yourself. Atlantic underscore Waters says. Well, what can I say? You bought a house together with an alcoholic and the mortgage is on you alone. Dump him and get your stuff in order. Legally you best discuss your options with a lawyer. That's the first step. Don't tell your BF naturally. But most likely you just lost a lot of money, unless he is willing to take the mortgage together with the house. But that really is just speculation on my part. Privately this is just an experience. A bad one, but one that makes you wiser and stronger too. If you allow it, that is. That's all for this video thank you for watching please subscribe.